so just uh, follow up here as you can see I, I live in Tri-Cities area of Tennessee and uh, the smoke uh, maybe a little bit clear right now where I'm on this hill but I mean you can see it in the air I mean it's it's bad we're under a orange orange to red alert and uh, it's straight out of Canada so they say I guess I mean apparently that's how the wind blows or something but anyway uh, yeah I just decided to go ahead and go watch sound of freedom <clears throat> I know there's been some talk about who Angel Studios may be directing people to to help them. It happens to be uh, unincredibly at this point tied to Clintons and all kinds of different people like that. And I mean, that's, you know, I mean, I guess it's a probability, you know, I mean, but the fact of the matter is this, this movie was like a hero movie in a way. And, you know, I'd say anybody who sees it would understand what I mean by that. And, um, I think that everybody should go see it. Um, you know, the way it looks right now, there's been probably over 8 million people who watched it. And Jim Caviezel, he leaves a message at the end. And it's, it's funny, there was maybe, I'd say there was probably... 50 to 60 people there at the theater on a Monday night in little old Kingsport, Tennessee. I mean, that was not bad, you know. But, um, at the end of the movie, a little thing come up on the bottom while the credits were rolling and said, special message in like two minutes. And maybe eight people left, but most of the people stayed and watched. And, um, just you know he's trying to encourage you know if you've took that first step you've actually went and you stepped out of your comfort zone to watch something that's not not a movie you're going to go watch because you know you think you're going to get some kind of joy out of it obviously not something like that well then you've already taken that first step so you have to figure out what your next step is and you have to move forward. Whether it is making YouTube videos and talking to people and trying to expose the truth about what's really going on with, with sex trafficking, child trafficking, human trafficking. You know, whether you make that first step and just, you know, speak to people about it on a personal level, speak to your family about it, whether you... Um, make YouTube videos about it and speak about it, whether you go on Facebook and post about it. I've been saying for for a little while now, I mean, that's the only way that... Well, it's, it's not the only way, you know? I mean, you, we could talk about it. We could... We could, uh... We could try to, you know, figure out, I mean, why it is that this stuff happens. And you can't figure any of that out. You can you can either just do something, speak up, say something. Or you can just keep your mouth shut and go on like nothing's happening. But something's happening. And it's been happening for a long time. I mean, child abuse has been going on for since the beginning of time surely but the predation that has happened in these past 20 years at least uh, 30 years if you want to go all the way back to the Franklin cover up it's just it's sickening and it's out of control it's just like the rest of our world right now it's just like the rest of our country it's lost its moral compass Enough people don't remember how to pray. Enough people don't remember who to be thankful to. All people want to do is question, why this, why that? Why would God let this happen? And that's not for us to question. I spent like 
almost 30 years of my life angry and questioning God. And I finally, I finally got to the point where I had to just let that go. I had to realize that that's not for me to do. I shouldn't be that way. And I had to let go of a lot of anger. But I'm telling you right now, you can speak out. If there's nothing else in this world you do, you can speak out about what's happening. And that will help. The more people that know, the more people are going to be having in their mind. The more, the more mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, aunts, uncles, grandparents, cousins are going to be alert and realize when something's not right. And that's going to stop it from happening to start with. I'm just rambling here. I got to go put my chickens up. I usually don't get home this late. I mean, it's 9.30. But that's late for me in the chicken world. I gotta go put everybody up. I just wanted to say, I did go watch the movie. And I'm glad I went and watched the movie. Because if nothing else, it just inspires me to do more. And... Please, if you haven't already, please go back and listen to my mix that I did the other day. Um, I took the uh, Battlefield popular song on YouTube featuring, sung by a girl named, I don't know, it's she, SH3, I'm not real sure. Um, it was a free version. I took it, I put... Um, my own mix on there with the really old gospel hymn my dad used to sing years ago and other people sung in church called I'm Gonna Die on the Battlefield. The McCameys have a really popular version of it. Um, I'm not talented. I don't have a voice that half my family has. But that's okay. It doesn't bother me because all I was doing by putting that out was that I was getting thoughts out of my head because when I first heard that Battlefield mix, the old song came to my mind and I, for weeks I wanted to work on trying to put it together and and I, I don't edit, I, I want to learn how. I can do little things, I just don't fool with it much, but, um, so I don't edit, so it's just a raw version, but if you would, go back and listen to it for me, and share it with someone, the message is what I'm trying to get out tonight, people, it's the message, and it is a battlefield, we are in the middle of spiritual warfare, and it's just gonna get worse and worse before it gets better. But we have to be warriors and we have to fight. And that's why I want everybody to go and listen to that if you don't care. Battlefield Remix. It's maybe about five videos ago that I did. But uh, I'm going to go put my chickens away. Uh, I'm not telling you to or not to go watch Sound of Freedom. But if you feel like you want to go watch it and you're a little bit concerned about it might be too harsh or anything like that... I think we can all handle it, but um, anyways, that's just what I wanted to say for now, much love. Oh, and the smoke, the smoke is just incredible. I told a guy when we were walking out of the theater, we're probably going to be on climate lockdowns here before we know it, but I don't know. Alright, much love.